Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to <clears throat> take you through a day of what I eat. Um, every time I start a video, she has to be held. Is it because you want to be on camera? Is that why? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we just got out of the shower. Um, Sayla still has got like some raspy <laughs> cough and stuff. Stop. Like, she does not do this whenever I'm not on the camera. So, anyways, um, we just got out of the shower and stuff. So, I'm going to get us some breakfast ready. And um, I'm just going to take you along for our day of what we eat. Okay, you guys, this is not a happy camper this morning for some reason, but um, I just got her breakfast fixed. Hopefully, I can have time to get mine fixed. But in here, I have juice that I made yesterday for her. Um, it's carrot juice, oranges, orange juice, um, lemon juice, and some pineapples, hopefully to help boost her immune system. In her um, oatmeal, I have frozen strawberries um, that are organic, that are organic. Um, organic bananas, some collagen, um, some coconut shreds, and some honey. So hopefully that stuff will be good to boost her immune system. And she seems happier now, but oh my gosh, she was pitching the worst fit like five seconds ago. So I'm going to try to get mine ready now. Okay, you guys, this is my breakfast. Um, this is Dave's bread, organic, um, two eggs, two pieces of bacon. The bacon is no nitrates and it's uncured, so there's no sugar on it. The eggs are free range. Um, <clears throat> and then, if you guys have watched my previous videos, you'll know that the mangoes are I'm so, I am obsessed with right now. So, um, Eggs have great folate in it, which is great for pregnancy and for the baby. And then this is supposed to have a lot of vitamin C in it and good fiber. So this is my breakfast for this morning.
Okay, so I finally get to sit down and eat now. Um, she is so fussy here lately. I think it's because she doesn't feel good, but oh my gosh, it's wearing me out. So I'm gonna eat. <laughs> So, Sayla is having for lunch a hot dog. I cut it up and some yams cooked in coconut oil. So, these hot dogs are uncured and there are no nitrates or nitrites added. So, they're really yummy. Oh, and they're beef dogs. Organic beef dogs. Those are pretty good. What do you think? Is it yummy? Okay, so I am also going to be having hot dogs. Um, I usually cut a bun in half, I'll have two, and I'll cut a bun in half, I only have half of one left for some reason, um, but I use these hot dog buns that are supposed to be like French rolls, um, Sailor's pitching a fit in the background, there's nothing I can do about it, um, but um, no preservatives, no artificial flavoring, no artificial coloring. No half fructose corn syrup, and they taste really good, and they're really soft. I'm also going to put some... I'm also going to put some organic chili on there. Sorry, guys. And um, this has vegetables in it, just from a can. It's just simple. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, some organic ketchup, and maybe some fruit on the side. I was still hungry after those hot dogs, so I'm gonna have some cereal um, with some almond milk. So it'll help my sweet tooth too. So it is supper time now, and I am going to um, get some stuff ready. Um, we already prepared this stuff earlier this week. It's just some ground beef. We do we do grass-fed ground beef and um, salsa, and then we do some kettle cooked chips. Oh. Sayla likes that too, but I think we're gonna try a coconut um, wrap with her as well, because she really likes those, so I'll show you guys what all that is. Hello. Um, so another thing I was gonna talk to you guys about is like the supplements that I take during the day, and um, one of them is this, it's an omega-3 supplement, fish oil, and it tastes really good, it's a liquid. We just pour it in a spoon. It's really good for brain health, it's good for the baby too, and then Sayla loves this stuff. So I don't know if you guys can see that. You guys, this kid has been so whining today. So, ooh, just, I just poured some of that out. It's kind of thick, but it tastes fine. Hold on, I'm gonna get you some. Be still. Be still. Okay, you ready? And then I'll show you um, my multivitamin, my prenatal vitamin, and I also take a folate, which is, um, I'll explain that later. But that's what I take on a daily basis for my supplements. Okay, so for supper, um, this was already pre-made. You get choked? You okay? Um, this is just ground beef, and I have it in there, and I'll just heat some of that up. Um, that's grass-fed ground beef that we just bought off of somebody that just has cows, so I can't really tell you a brand because they don't really have a brand. This is... Um, salsa and I like medium because I like a little bit of spice um, not too much but mild just doesn't really have much flavor to me um, I am gonna eat probably a few yams as well we've already got these prepared um, just for some fiber yeah 
And yams are supposed to be really good while you're pregnant, for you while you're pregnant as well. And then I'm gonna get the chips that I eat. Okay, so I know this is like double starches, but oh well. Um, this is the Cape Cod chips that we that I like. And they're kettle cooked, so they're really crunchy. I like that. So I do the beef and salsa, and then I take the chips and dip it and eat it. Now for her, I'll just like crumble it up in a bowl for her so that um, she doesn't have to like chew it too much. And I'll mix it with her beef and salsa. So yeah, I'm just gonna heat everything up and eat that. So I think that we are also gonna do this for Sayla. Um, this is a organic coconut wraps. It's kind of like a tortilla wrap. <laughs> I really don't know what's wrong with her today. Um, but Brian said that she was eating it really well earlier today, so we're gonna give her that. Ah, that's what's wrong with you, are you sleepy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna give her this, but um, this is raw paleo, gluten-free, and vegan. I don't know, honestly, I've never tried it, so I just don't feel like trying it tonight. So oh, yeah. this is Sayla's. It's wrapped up in a little coconut tortilla with some yams. Are you excited about eating that, Sayla? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You set her a little far back from the table, babe. I'm I just oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Patience. Okay, so this is mine. It's just some beef and salsa and then yams on the side. Oh, and then I'm gonna eat some chips with it. But um, I've also been trying to get my water in. I know I get at least two of those a day. I shoot for three, but most of the time, the third one just doesn't happen. But, so this is hopefully, I think, the last meal for the day. Okay, you guys, I'm sorry. It is the next day. My camera battery died and I had to charge it last night. And by the time, it was charged, I was already in bed. So, I swear, every time I pull this camera out, she starts crying. Oh, I know what she's wanting. Okay, hold on one second. Um, here, come on. Okay, so what I wanted to show you guys um, to end this video, well, first off, after I had that, what did I have, the beef and salsa last. Oh, get it, just a second. You want to sit here on the bar? After I had that beef and salsa last, I did have a few bites of pineapple, but that was my last meal. So, and I was stuffed. Like, I don't know. I always have to have some type of fruit after a meal to um, satisfy that little sweet craving. So, that's what I had. But I wanted to tell you guys about my prenatal multivitamin. I've been using um, Garden of Life prenatal multivitamin and it's gummies so this is organic berry and the reason why I like this um, multivitamin besides the fact that it's a gummy um, because I hate taking pills is the fact that it comes from whole foods so there's no like synthetic vitamins in it at all so um, the suggested size is four pieces a day I only take two because I want it to last longer, and usually Sayla gets one, so that's why she was kind of pitching a fit. Can I see this one? Can I see that? Thank you. I also um, have tested positive for MTHFR, so I have to take a methylfolate supplement, um, which is vital whenever you are pregnant. Um, it helps the development of the baby. Um, so can we? Let me see this. Can we show it to them? Here, chew on this one. Get that one. Let me have this one. Okay, so um, I'll show you guys that. And like, if you're ever having problems, 
um, with carrying a child, like you have miscarriages, um, or maybe even getting pregnant, um, that could be a reason as to why um, you're having problems. So definitely talk to your doctor about getting tested for MTHFR. And I think that the 23andMe test that you can buy online will actually do that, um, test you for that as well. So may look into that um, if you're having problems. But anyways, so I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, and that is what we eat in a day. So let me know um, kind of what you guys think about this. I know it's probably not the healthiest stuff that you could eat, um, but seriously, like the greens and stuff like that, I just, I still, unless we are out to eat somewhere, it just does not appeal to me to make it at home. So I'm trying. So when I do go out to eat, at least I get a salad, right? I know it's probably not the best either because they spray it with all kinds of stuff, but anyways, we try our best here. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you. Leave me a comment below. I respond to all my comments and I love talking with you guys. I think that's it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and let's tell them bye. Can you tell them bye bye? Yeah. Bye.